Welcome back to Movie Recapped. Today I will show you a horror, thriller film from 2021, titled Till Death. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Emma is staring out of a window at the city, while Tom tells her that he's been thinking about her. They have a drink together and he tells her how much he cares about her, but she says that she can't go through with it. Emma ends their affair, even though Tom pleads with her not to. As she's walking out, he begs to see her one more time the next day, but Emma tells him that she can't because it's her anniversary. The next day Emma enters an office building and goes directly to her husband's office, where his assistant gives her flowers and wishes her a happy anniversary. Inside of the office she finds a file on the desk. She opens it and looks through it, then sees the picture of the man that robbed and attacked her. Emma has a flashback of the attack, when her husband Mark walks in and starts talking about her dress, telling her that they have time for her to change into the one he likes. He finds the photo in her hand and tells her that it will only trigger her anxiety. Mark has her file because her attacker's parole is being revoked. She asks him if he misses being a DA, instead of a lawyer that gets men like her attacker out of jail. He says he prefers the money. The two of them take the elevator, when Tom joins them on the next level down. They talk about the time when Emma and Tom met and each has a different story. Later, the couple has their anniversary dinner. Even though Emma doesn't want desert, Mark orders one for her. He gives her a necklace made out of steel because it's their steel anniversary. Two people get engaged in the restaurant and he comments that she was happy like the girl at one point. Emma gives him her gift, a pair of Super Bowl tickets, which he hates. He puts the necklace on her and wishes her a happy anniversary. Emma is at the washroom, when she hears the girl crying inside. She tells her that even though she said yes, it doesn't mean that she's obligated to marry the guy. The girl tells her off, then Emma congratulates her for her engagement. They leave the restaurant and the waitress finds the Super Bowl tickets as a tip. Once they're outside, Mark tells her that he has one more surprise for her. Later, they're seen driving somewhere and Emma is blindfolded. She wants to take the blindfold off, but he doesn't allow her to. Emma gets anxious and takes it off just as they arrive at their lake house, which he had prepared for them earlier. Mark thinks that they can rekindle their marriage there. Emma is inside the house and she takes off the blindfold. There's a message for her on the table with wedding vows. She follows the clues he's left her around the house and gets to a dark room with pictures of them. There's a record player ready for her to play it. When she hears the music, she laughs and goes to look for Mark on the second floor. Emma finds him in their bedroom waiting for her with champagne. Mark apologizes for not being a good husband. He tells her that this anniversary is just the beginning step toward mending their marriage. They sleep together. The following morning, Emma wakes up, noticing how cold it is in the room. She quickly finds out that Mark has chained himself to her and gets upset about it. He turns around and kills himself. Emma pushes him off and falls over the bed with him. She panics and starts pulling on the chain. After a brief moment, she calms down and drags the body over to the landline, but it's offline. Emma sees the gun and tries to shoot the chain, but there are no more bullets inside, so she drops it under the bed. Then, she drags the body to the closet and sees that the only wardrobe left there is her wedding gown. She discovers a safe behind it. Next, she's seen wearing Mark's bloody shirt and dragging the body on the dress. When she tries to pull him down the stairs he falls over and they both tumble down. Emma gets to the kitchen, but finds that Mark has submerged her phone in water. She still tries to power it on, unsuccessfully. Emma goes through the kitchen looking for some kind of blade, but finds nothing. She checks the trash can and finds Mark's car keys inside. Next, she's seen wearing all of his clothes and dragging the body out to the car through the snow. When she gets them there, she enters the car and starts it. The vehicle runs for a few moments as she tries to heat her hands, but it quickly turns off. Mark has taken the gas out of the car too. The radio is still playing and a recording of him telling her that he knew about Tom comes on. Emma drags the body back to the house and washes her face from his blood. She sees the necklace he gave her in the mirror and tries to pull it off, but she can't untie it. Next, she goes to check the basement. There are no tools down there either. Emma drags the body up the staircase, determined to get herself out of there. Once outside of the basement, she hears something in the dark room. All of the pictures inside are changed. They are of her and Tom, as well as the one taken of her after the attack. Emma turns around and sees a massive mug shot of her attacker. She goes to the record player and plays the recorder next to it. It's a recording of her husband taking her interview after the attack, before they were married. Emma has a flashback of the attack. Suddenly, she hears a car outside and someone coming to the door. There's a knock and she quickly locks it. Tom is in front, telling her that he got her message asking him to help her. He notices the blood on her shirt and she tells him that she didn't send him the message. 
Emma opens the door and explains what happened. Tom tells her that Mark's entire carrier was going up in flames. He asks if she called the police, then tries to lawyer her, explaining how the whole thing looks. Emma tells him to call the police regardless, because she can't stand being chained to the body anymore. When Tom walks out to get his phone from the car, they see another car approaching. She thinks that they should run, but he tells her that he can handle it and steps outside, asking her to lock the door. The car arrives and a man, Jimmy approaches Tom, saying that he's there to fix a broken pipe. Tom offers to pay him what he would charge for the job and does it, but Jimmy insists to come in and use the lavatory. When Tom doesn't budge and asks him to leave, Emma hides and another man steps out of the car. He approaches and stabs Tom. The second man, Bobby enters the house first and looks around. Emma recognizes him as her attacker. Jimmy is very upset that Bobby killed Tom and apologizes to him as he takes his last breath. He begs Bobby to leave, but he reminds his little brother that they need to find Emma first. Both of them go looking for her. Bobby sees the mess in the bedroom and finds the safe. Jimmy sees the bloody trail in the house. Emma drags the body to the boat shed, but Jimmy sees the trail leading there and follows it reluctantly. She gets the body inside the shed and finds a boat propeller. Emma cuts off Mark's hand to unchain herself from him, when Jimmy enters the shed. She hides before he sees her. He looks around and when he sees the body immediately runs to the house to get his brother. Both of them come back to the shed, but only find the body there. Emma is hiding under the boat and listens to them talk. Bobby recognizes Mark as the guy who hired them. He tells Jimmy that they need to find her to get the code for the safe. They leave and Emma binds her feet with pieces of the dress, then finds the gasoline for the boat. The brothers get back to the house. Jimmy tells Bobby that they can't blow the safe open and that it needs a fingerprint as well as the combination. Emma is dragging the gasoline to the car when she almost gets caught by Jimmy, who is going to the shed to get Mark's body. She gets the gasoline to the car and starts pumping it. Bobby hears her in the garage and goes after her. Emma hears him coming and hides just in time. When he enters, he finds the gas, but not her. Emma listens to his steps from under the car and when he blows out the tires, she runs to the house almost getting caught by Jimmy again. She gets into the basement and Bobby follows her there. Emma gets trapped in the staircase between Bobby in the basement and Jimmy in front of the door. As they start closing it on her, she activates the car alarm and pulls them away from her. While the two of them are at the car, she gets to the house and says goodbye to Tom. The brothers argue outside, but Bobby convinces Jimmy that they should finish the job and tells him that Emma is probably still at the house. When they enter, they see that she has taken Tom's coat and shoes. Bobby goes to check upstairs and Jimmy stays on the first floor. Once up there, Bobby hears a noise in the attic and follows it. He thinks he's found Emma, when she suddenly hits him over the head. Jimmy hears them and finds Bobby, when she hits him too and locks him in a room. Emma runs outside to Tom's car, but Bobby gets to her. She manages to call the police, but the call lasts only a second. Bobby tells Jimmy to get the body upstairs then knocks Emma out. Emma wakes up chained to Mark again. The brothers have prepared the safe, but she tells them that she doesn't know the combination. Bobby pins Emma down and tells her that the combination is the day that Mark proposed to her. She doesn't want to tell him the date, because she thinks he'll kill her right afterwards. Bobby threatens to cut her toes off, but Jimmy doesn't like what he's doing and tries to get him to stop. Bobby pushes him away and he finds the gun that Emma dropped. He points it at his brother and tells him to stop, then makes him leave the knife and stand by the safe. Jimmy and Emma come to an agreement that she'll give them the combination after he gets her out of the cuffs. When that's done, Bobby drags Mark's body to the safe, uses his fingerprint and the combination and opens the hatch. Unfortunately, the diamonds he was expecting to find inside aren't there, just a saw with a message where to find them. They realize that the diamonds are in Emma's necklace. Jimmy tries to open it, but Bobby loses patience and wants to cut her head off and get the necklace that way. He takes the gun and knocks Jimmy over, but when he tries to shoot Emma, he realizes that there are no bullets inside. She reaches for the knife, but he pins her down again. Jimmy tries to stop him and the two wrestle, until Bobby shoves his brother onto a coat hanger, killing him. He gets mad and goes after Emma, telling her that everything is her fault. They fight and he stabs her in the leg. When he goes to stab her again, she dodges him, grabs a heavy tool and hits him with it. She escapes with Bobby going after her again, but he's the one chained to Mark this time. Bobby trips down the stairs and she escapes to the car. It eventually starts and she goes over the body, then roms into the other cars. When she can't push the cars, she drives back into the garage and runs over Bobby. She loses control of the car and crashes into the boat shed. He goes after her and finds her dragging herself onto the ice. Bobby pulls Mark's body with him, but still manages to catch up to her. 
They fight again and she stabs him, when the ice breaks and all of them fall into the icy waters. Emma gets the knife out of his shoulder and incapacitates him, finally escaping his grip. She swims up, but can't break the ice. Suddenly, she stabs at the ice from below and succeeds in getting out. As she's lying on the ice she takes off her ring and throws it in the water. Emma hears police alarms in the distance. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.